Hi friends, we are going to be doing building opinion writing and we're on page 61 and the title is called opinion writing. Okay, last time what we did was opinion writing and we picked our um, where we would like to see uh, an orchid whale and um, you were supposed to pick which one of these and draw a picture. Okay. Um, let's go to the next page. It says complete the topic sent complete the topic sentence. So write your supporting reasons using the information on the previous page and complete the concluding sentence. Okay. So again, we're going to take our main idea um, opinion writing, and it's we are going to fit some things in and we're using our plastic page just to make sure that we can keep reusing this okay all right so the topic sentence is another word for our main idea sentence okay and they're saying I would rather see an orca in okay so that's where you would you're gonna fill that in in just a minute but before we do that, um, so I want to explain to you how to think about this, okay? So um, this, this sentence is your tabletop. So see an or orca, and I want to do an aquarium. And I'm not writing full sentences on this because I'm just going quickly on this, okay? All right, so let's go back to page 60. And since I chose aquarium, my first supporting detail is going to be I can see them up close. Okay? My second supporting detail is learn. And again, I'm not using complete sentences in this. I'm just doing this fast because of I don't have time on my video to do it so quickly. Okay? So learn about them from staff. Okay? And then the aquarium may be crowded with people. Okay? Crowded with people. Okay, and so then on page 61, they give us a concluding sentence. This is why I would rather see an orca in, and again, I will put aquarium. Okay, now again, this is very quick writing. It's a little bit sloppy, but all I want to do is organize my thoughts. I really want to organize my thoughts so that I know that one, I'm going to restate my main idea into my conclusion, that I have that my supporting details are supporting my table. To see them up close, close in aquarium, well that makes sense, that supports my tabletop. To learn about them from staff, yep, that supports my aquarium. It could be crowded, I'm okay with that, but that is definitely an aquarium experience. And then I restated my main idea. Okay, so it's really important for you to um, get the hang of the tabletop so that when you start writing your very own topics, you will be able to organize your thoughts very quickly. Okay, all right, let's go back to page 61. So it says, I would rather see an orca in, and I said I want to do aquarium, in, and I have to put an aquarium. And do you see how we have two lines in all my lowercase? This is good handwriting practice. Okay, so my expectation is that you're using good handwriting. This is not something you should speed through. If it's messy, I will have you do it over. So it's, it's worth it to s make it good. Okay, supporting and reasons or details Okay, our transition word is first, okay, and it's a capital letter at the beginning of a sentence and a comma. First, I, and I'm using, 
I'm looking at these um, reasons, and they also are on my tabletop as I write. First, I can see them up close, period, at the end of a sentence. Now, I do not want to go down to the next line. I need, this is a paragraph, so I keep writing, okay? Second, comma, do I, should I write second, learn about them from staff? Well, that's not a complete sentence, right? I need to put my, like, I will learn, okay? Or I can learn, I can learn about them from staff, period, at the end of a sentence. Okay, so notice how I have to put um, the noun and, a, and it's like a, a linking verb. So I can learn, I can see. If I just write can see them up close, I'm going to say, whoops, it doesn't sound right. You need to go back and put in I can or I can learn. Now let's read the third one. Aquarium may be crowded with people. Okay, so I won't put I can, that wouldn't make any sense. But third, the aquarium may be crowded with people. That makes sense, okay? Third, the aquarium may B, and if you run out of room, just draw a line and keep writing. Maybe crowded with people, period. Okay, now let's go to the conclusion. This is why I would rather see an orca in the query um, period. Okay, so this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for capital letters at the beginning of sentences. I'm looking for periods. I'm looking for your lowercase to be inside the two lines. I'm looking for your I to be capitalized. We have to master this in third grade. I has to be capitalized. I'm looking for transition words, first, second, and third. I'm looking for a comma after each transition word. I'm looking for a period at the end of a sentence. Okay. I'm looking for three supporting details that relate to the main idea. And I'm looking for a concluding statement that relates to your main idea. All right, now let's read this paragraph and see how good it is, okay? All right, here we go. We can read it together. I would rather see an orca in an aquarium. First, I can see them up close. Second, I can learn about them from staff. Third, the aquarium may be crowded with people. This is why I would rather see an orca in the aquarium. Okay, so this is how we're going to do, this is the most of it, and you do have to watch the video, so kiss your brain uh, for watching this video because you're going to be a smart writer because you're learning how to do it correctly. All right, nice job.